Hi, my name is Richard Hutton and welcome to the Exponential Fund, the place where you learn to invest and absolutely crush average market returns. This is going to be a short video, just a quick update on the markets and a couple of thoughts. So to check the performance of last week, my account, the Exponential Fund, was again down 3.71% versus the S&P down just 2.3%. I'm not exactly sure why I uh, keep saying this, maybe just to point out that this is what grabs people's attention, the, you know, short term volatility, and just to point towards it, that it doesn't matter, right? What matters is the long term. Now, I have started this particular account uh, fairly recently, like not even a year ago. So really, what I'm excited about is June 2026, that's when it will mark uh, five years of a track record on eToro. And by then, I estimate it will have significantly outperformed the S&P. And then I'll be able to say, you know, last week the portfolio did this, but over the last five years, it's up such and such. So... Looking at my tweets, on Tuesday, I trimmed my VAL position, or VALE, whatever, V-A-L-E, for a 14% gain in less than two months. Nice. <clears throat> uh, on Wednesday, I trimmed my vertex position for a 21% gain, again, less than two months, so that's nice. Um... These are just rebalancings that I do on the portfolio with very small positions, but that's the idea, right? So some stocks go up in the portfolio and become more than my initial 5%. I sell some of those, and with that money, I buy other stocks which are down, right? Now, I have a separate account. I have many accounts, but one of my secondary accounts in Revolut, I want to do a bit of research and development on a strategy that's a derivative of my main, the exponential fund. So if the exponential fund is invest long term in big companies that grow fast, this other strategy, let's call it the monthly dip, is by buy companies that are large, fast growing, and have crashed a lot recently. So essentially you buy the dip, and the expectation is because fundamentally the company keeps growing, eventually it will get back to the all-time high. But because it dropped so, so much, it has a lot of room to grow up, to go up, right? And it has to like catch up. <clears throat> so it could earn higher returns than my you know, main account, but remains to be seen. So essentially I look for the intersecting trade, the company which is the largest and the fastest growing and the one that dropped the most, right? I explained in my uh, last week's video, so I won't get into that, but I did put on another trade, again, C limited just a few hundred dollars, so really small position. The point is just to test and get some data. If it works, obviously, I will put more money towards it. Now, for a you know quick lesson of the week, how can you change the world through investing or side effects of good investing? When you buy a stock, many good things happen. So because the stock market is essentially a um, live auction, the price of a stock is based on supply and demand. How many people want to buy? How many people want to sell? So when you place a buy order, in a very small way, you push up the price. So you increase the value of everybody else's stock. Fantastic, right? 
And because companies often issue more shares, at least just to give employees as bonuses, stock options, it's like you're paying, not the salary, but like the bonuses for employees. So, you know, if you're investing in a great company, you're supporting the employees of great companies. Fantastic. Another thing, specifically is with this uh, Elon Musk and Twitter shenanigans. So, you know, you know, my biggest position is Tesla. I love the company. I admire Elon Musk. So in a very small way, because I invested in Tesla, I helped, you know, raise the value of the stock and thus the net worth of Elon Musk. He then had the level of influence do such a thing as offer to buy the entire Twitter company simply to support free speech. I do support free speech. So you see how much leverage is in this position, right? Me with one click. I helped um, increase the level of influence of such an integrous man like Elon Musk. And then he can do additional great things with his influence. That's it. Till next time.